the 2K Sports pregame show. Hey, Ernie Johnson here, and I'm joined by Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight, it'll be the Cleveland Cavaliers going up against the Chicago Bulls. And guys, for the Bulls, the talk has been that they don't want to play with caution tonight. They want to let it all hang out. They seem to be a pretty revved up group coming into this game. We'll see if that translates into success on the court. Teron Liu went from being an assistant coach in Cleveland to interim head coach, and now the head coach with an NBA title. Talk about the job he's done for the Cavs. You know, his players love him. They fight for him. He played for me, so I know he's a great basketball mind, and I think that's the best compliment you can give a coach. He played for you? Yeah, he played for me. He played for you? You coached him? Nope, but it was my team. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> it must have been a joy to coach. It must have been a joy to coach, man. <laughs> First time coach, man, leading his team to rings. You've got to be impressed. Well, the other thing that you're impressed is how much guys play for him, not just that he played for guys. Oh, you know, that's so deep. I'm going to need to take about a half or three quarters just to digest it. Here's Kevin Harlan. If it's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, it can only mean one thing. Welcome to Cleveland, Ohio. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Eastern Conference battles always fun. This time it's the Cleveland Cavaliers intent on protecting home court. And with pregame routines coming to an end, we're just about ready for our tip-off. First, though, let's get a report from the sideline and say hello to David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Channing Fry's floor spacing puts opposing bigs in a bind. Fry says big guys like the paint. I make them allergic to it. Their big guys want to help, but he can't. He's got to come to Fryland. Just sit out there with me. So it's a pick your poison kind of thing. Kevin, if there's one place I know you'll love, it's Fryland. <laughs> That's right, T.A. You and I both, maybe after the broadcast, you and I can swing over there for a bite. <laughs> Obviously, two teams, same conference, lots of history between them. Should be a good one. Brent, who are some of your favorite rivals to compete against? You know, just growing up around the game of basketball, Kevin, for me to step on the floor uh, against the jerseys, maybe not so much about the, the player that's in the jersey, but to see Lakers in purple or to see Celtics in green. Th that to me got my juices flowing. And then obviously selfishly, anytime I had the opportunity to play against my brother John, oh boy, I was ready to go. You, you love it. Yeah, yeah, you savored that. I love that answer, by the way. Playing the team, not necessarily the individual. And at Chicago to start out, we've got a chance here to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this one. Taking a look at the Bulls. Arkin and Lopez are together down low. Then there's Grant, and it's Zipser in at the small forward position. Now here's Lopez over Thompson, and it falls over the rim and in. Lopez has got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for Chicago. James with it. Banked in off the glass. Okay, you could try to get LeBron away from the basket, but when he's close to the basket, that's what happens. First quarter of play, one minute played. Here's the screen. Lopez a screen. And Holiday kicks to Grant. Shot clock at six. Puts it up from 15. Makes a big height bounce and goes in. Where was the D on that one? Just too easy. Now James. Screen by Smith. James kicks to Smith. Outer dishes to James. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And defensively, 
This is a nightmare. He's already on a roll. Well, I love his will, his take charge attitude, the aggressiveness, all of that showing up here in the first. The second chance effort. Goes up with it again. Lopez, no luck. Credit the defense, wisely avoiding fouling the shooter. Don't want to give up a personal there. And he made him attempt a difficult layup. Now, here is Smith. LeBron is doubled. Love kicks to Smith. That falls. Great assist by Love. Smith's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. I admire how well Love is playing on the offensive end, realizing that one of his teammates is open, so get him the ball. Grant with the ball. Picked up by Thompson. And Holiday has it in the corner. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Oh, a little punch, counter punch action. Neither side flinching here. Yeah, both sides trying to keep up with one another, but doing it from distance. Crowder from outside. Another three for Cleveland. And early on, they look great. They've made all four of their shots to start this game. They set the pick. Outside Holiday. Grant the pass to Lopez. Bulls moving the ball around. No good from Grant. The Cavaliers leading by three. In the corner, Crowder with it. Off target from outside. Not a problem when that's your first miss of the game. Strong start. And Holiday kicks to Markinen. Lopez sets a screen for Holiday. Over Smith. Holiday with another miss. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Here's James. An easy layup after coming off the pick. James has got six. And once James takes off towards the basket, the defense really has no chance to react and or stop him. What determination from the King there. Now here's Lopez. Grant outside. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on Love. And for so long, the Bulls really were synonymous with the best defensive teams in the league. But as a team, they've started to slip the last few years. It's something that has been lost while this team kind of retools for the future. The free throw drops for Grant. And it used to be you could pencil in the Bulls as a top 10 defensive team by most metrics in any given year. But, Greg, the last few seasons, they've just been middle of the pack. And, you know, over the history of this team, they've always been at their best when they played great defense. You go back to those Jordan years where they were marked by exceptional defense. This last group led by Derrick Rose similarly built on a defensive-minded philosophy Let's just see if they get back to their roots with this new push. Well, they depend on him to score, and that doesn't mean just from the field. Sometimes it comes from the charity strike. Bulls trail by three. Markinen sets the pick for Grant. Pass to Lopez. Over Thompson. And he gets that one to go off the front iron. Lopez has got his second bucket tonight. Really enjoy his work on the inside. The D was there, but helpless. It's a pick by Love. He dishes it to James. The fader. Here's Thompson. He feeds it to James. Back to Thompson, down low, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And LeBron enjoys fooling the D right there, tricked them, got them in the air, and then gets himself to the free throw line. The Cavaliers shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. In the season ago, they hit about 75% of their free throws. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. And Cavaliers fans have to be pleased with what the team got in exchange for Kyrie Irving. An all-star in Isaiah Thomas, a two-way starter in Crowder, and some talent for the future. I think they did well. He hits one and misses one each at the line. And the Cavs stuck to their guns in the trade uh. negotiation. They wanted that 2018 draft pick, which is coming from the Nets. You never know what happens with LeBron this upcoming offseason. They got talent and depth to win now, but also a plan B if they need to rebuild. And for many years, the Chicago Bulls were viewed as a model franchise. Always were competitive and in the hunt for a title, but this current version just can't escape turmoil from within. Two shots. Nice on the first. first one falls for. And the Bulls finally committing Greg to a full rebuild this last offseason. Yeah, and, and trading Butler was the start of it. I mean, they, they got some young players to build around and a pick, and it won't be an easy road ahead, but one they felt they needed to make. That one drops. He ties it up. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. And it's Crowder, top of the key. It's a pick by Love. Out of dishes to Love. Blanketed by the D, he fights to the rim for the layup. Kevin Love scoring over the top of the defense, showing how he can be dominant down there near the rim. Lopez kicks to Holiday, feeds it to Markinen. Takes the turnaround J, and the shot falls short this time. Cavaliers have gone 6 of 10 from the field in this ballgame. Pass to James. Smith on the wing. Five to shoot. 20 feet out. Markinen pulls it in. And the defense is just not very aggressive. Definitely fortunate that the mid-range jumper did not find the bottom of the net that time. Grant the pass to Markinen. Back to Grant. Lopez a screen. And Holiday has it in the corner. And the Bulls with another miss. Right now he's just out of sync. A lot of shots rimming out. And he's got to try to find something different. It's good. Smith's got five now see all the responsibilities that LeBron James has. He is their leader. I'd like to see him get it to the open teammate. He does that often. Now here is Holiday. Lopez a screen on Smith. Here's Holiday. And he gets the friendly spin and that one drops. Holiday's got his second basket of the night. The Cavaliers have gone 7 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. To the middle. Stolen by Holiday. Double team on Holiday. Here's Lopez. He made that one. Basket number three for him. He's also missed two. Yeah, got to feel good about the way you started this one, guys, as he is making almost everything out there and giving his team a good, solid boost. Screen by Smith. He kicks it to Crowder. And there's the feed to LeBron. Puts it up. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Nine points in the game so far. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Grant against James. Markinen sets the pick for Grant. The pass to Holiday. Back to Grant. Lock at six. Passes it to Zips. Here's Holiday. They get it back. Lopez. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. LeBron kicks to Smith. Dishes it to Crowder. 
Unable to get that one. Good D by Lopez. James against Grant. Steps back and fires. Cavaliers with the rebound. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. And Brett, when you look at the way LeBron has constructed his business empire, hiring his childhood friends to manage it, it's been talked about, but it's been successful. Well, he's taken ownership, Kevin, of what his career has been, but he's also empowered those around them to have a future, to make a life. And he certainly is blazing his own trail as he's made his way through his career in the NBA. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Blue shots. No good on that one. And you know, Brent, we know top level coaching is an all in affair strategy, motivation, you know, working the officials. But who are some of the most complete coaches in the league right now? Well, at the top of the list is Greg Popovich and what he does. There's, there's no doubt that the way that he has his team prepared on a nightly basis, carrying out the game plan, the way he works the sidelines, as you mentioned, Kevin, and Greg Popovich is the cream of the crop when it comes to NBA coaches. The dish to Pondexter. Pass to Felder. There's a screen. Arkanen kicks to Valentine. Pass to Felder. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. You got to make that. The defense was far from terrible, but, man, that's an easy shot. Kicks it to Fry. Feeds it to LeBron. The pass to Green. Over Markinen. Misses off the left iron. And defensively moving his feet there, staying right on top of the shooter. Some defenses are okay with giving up the mid-range shot. In this case, they contested. Fouled in the act of shooting. A three-point play chance coming up. They are just killing them on the interior. Bulls shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. And when you look at their numbers from a season ago, 80% as a unit, that's something you'll be happy with. That's good from Valentine. You know, strange to see that this Cavs team, after facing the Warriors, became one of the most elite shooting teams themselves. Their three-point shooting percentage up to about 38% last season. That was second best in the NBA. They also had the second most attempts in the league behind the Rockets. Well, Chicago has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Felder kicks to Markinen. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Oh, you just relish those kind of opportunities. And the defense got lucky, but they need to guard that area of the floor a little bit better. There's a minute 47 left to play in the first. James kicks to Green. Shoots over Markinen. Again, the miss by Green. And for the Cavaliers, 40% of their field goal attempts coming from long range last season. Ran a, a huge part of their offense. Well, 25 made threes in the single game against the Hawks last year was an NBA record. Not Golden State. Cleveland had that record. So just one of the many ones that they set as a prolific three-point shooting team. And interesting because their matchups with the Golden State Warriors as being the great shooting team that they are, that the Cavs shot more last year. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Valentine shot good. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter and just served him up. Now here's LeBron. He's got 13. Outside, green. Green. 
Releases from 15. Gets the front of the rim and out. The Bulls leading by three. 29 seconds left in the first quarter. And the jam by Valentine. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Now here's James. He dishes it to Fry. Good, and the assist goes to James. Fry has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Here's Felder. There's a good screen. From deep three-point range, will return shortly. And we got a chance to hear from LeBron James about the hard work and preparation he brings into every game. Go back and I'm able to, um, you know, read the scout report, you know, and, and also when I get to the arena, I also watch more film on, on each and every guy that's going to be playing. Um, guys that I know I may be, um, you know, matched up against, you know, throughout the night. So um, I'm not surprised by anything if it happens throughout the game. So um, it's a lot of preparation that goes in, you know, to just one game, just trying to get one win, but that's what it takes to end game. I think you'd have to say the preparation really shows on the court in his play, and rarely does he look surprised out there or caught off guard. And, and Kevin, that's really just the mark of a total pro, and, and I don't think oftentimes the fans appreciate how much goes in in terms of preparation. Some guys get it, and some guys don't, but, but he's a perfect example of what proper preparation means in terms of preventing a poor performance. And off we go, a close game. Now starting the second quarter. And guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? Getting high percentage looks, wearing down that defense on the inside. Such a great way to get yourself into an offensive groove and build up some early confidence. Kyle Korver is out there with Dwayne Wade. Then there's Green. Then there's Iman Shepard. And it's Fry in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Now here's Markinen. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Tries again. And that's two points on the layup. Markinen's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for Chicago. Wade outside. Shoots off the screen. Another miss by Wade. And you know what? You can't get a better screen. Frees him up beautifully, but he just fails to capitalize. Oh, man, he'd love to have that one back. He just does everything right, but doesn't get the finish. David Mwaba has checked in for the Bulls. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Felder kicks to Markinen. His three-pointers off the mark. The Cavaliers trail by four. Outside jumper. Fires for three. It's good from long range. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooting. Here's Felder, guarded by Green. 13 feet away. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Markinen's got four points now in the quarter. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Now here's Corver. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Shumper dishes to Corver. Clock at four. Stolen by Markinen. Here's Felder. Wade is covering. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Valentine. No good on that one. Corver with the defensive effort. The Cavaliers trail by three. Oh, 
Green, the screen. Corver kicks to Green. Six on the shot clock. Wade gets the bucket. As soon as Wade gets the ball that close to the basket, he's going to take advantage of weak defense and score. Well, Tyron Luce still pretty much new to the coaching ranks, but a tremendous amount of experience from his playing career. He won titles with Kobe and Shaq in Los Angeles for the Lakers, played alongside Michael Jordan in Washington, and he's seen LeBron James bring a title back to Cleveland. That's a lot of championship experience for Ty Lue. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Guys, Tristan Thompson has one of the longest consecutive games played streaks in NBA history. He said, the mind's a powerful thing, and if you tell your brain everything is all right, you'd be surprised on the stuff you can achieve. We have the mental toughness to push through our limits. That's how you become great and test yourself as a player. Kevin? Well, David Thompson, certainly a mentally strong player. Always nice to have someone you can rely on night in and night out. For Cleveland, they have gone two of four at the free throw line. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And Brent, you talk about Cavs coach Teron Liu having played with those greats. He knows how to win. Well, he's never been intimidated by any player that he's suited up with and certainly relished any of the opportunities to make contributions as a member of the teams that he played for. So he recognizes all those things. And I think he also recognizes the tremendous opportunity in front of him to coach one of the game's all-time greats in LeBron James. Now, here's Grant. He has six. Lopez, a screen on green. Here's Grant. And again, Chicago, no good. For Cleveland, they've gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Wade passes to Green, above up top. Cleveland moving the ball around. And here is Green. And he's fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up. Yeah, how about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. Ray, you've played for six different teams. What does it feel like to have to go in and, and prove yourself to a whole new group of teammates and coaches, a new fan base, all of it? I think those situations can all change dramatically, Kevin. If you're in the league for five or six years, there's a good What's understanding up? that you're there for a reason. You're just shifting addresses and cities at that point. And I think guys have an understanding and respect for what you bring to the table because they know your game will travel. Good answer. Good answer. The free throw drops for Jeff Green. Well, last season, LeBron very outspoken, saying the Cavs were too top-heavy. The Irving trade has brought them some much-needed depth. Now, here's Grant. Passes it to Zipser. Good on the triple. Zipser's got it all tied up now for Chicago. Well, some guys just take pride in how they set screens. It might seem like a small part of the game, but as you saw there, it can have a huge impact in getting a shooter an open look at the basket. Here's Green. Got a piece of it. Grant against Jumper. The 11-footer, Grant, that's good. Grant's got eight points. And you talk about the depth for the Cavs. Crucial when facing a team like the Golden State Warriors. If everything comes together, I think there's a chance their trade with Boston might give them a better shot at winning it all. Here is Love. After Jaron Grant's bucket, Love gets to jump. In transition, here come the Bulls. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And now a four-point Bulls lead. Cleveland's gone to three-point range seven times tonight, knocked down five of them. Over in the corner, Green. Back to Jumper. Down to five on the shot clock. They need this. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Lopez has got four rebounds now tonight. 
this offense has really been clicking. And they know it, guys. They're playing right now with the kind of energy that is hard to deal with. Now, here's Grant. He's got eight. Off target on the 15-footer. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Outside, Green. Screen by Smith. Back to Jumper. Takes the three. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Six points for Amon Shumpert. Shumpert doing a good job of getting his feet set and preparing himself for that shot. There's the screen. Grant kicks to Felicio. Over Love. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. Felicio's got his first basket. The Cavaliers trail by three. Shumpert with it. Six points for him. He feeds it to Green. Love with the screen for Green. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. And the length of Green is a real issue for the D. His arms just go forever, which often results in a lot of shooting fouls for him. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And last year, the Bulls, Greg, just didn't threaten anyone from outside. Uh, I think a big problem has just been personnel. You know, some of the guys they brought in as shooters just really haven't panned out. And that lack of shooting from deep is why this offense can grow stagnant at times. And so he makes both from the line. Well, his body control is phenomenal. And his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. Now, here's Grant. He's got eight. Outside Holiday. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Holiday's got seven points. Effective screen set there for the jump shot. That was the key to the play. Love with the screen on Holiday. It's a pick by Love. Outside Green. Here's LeBron. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. Just wonder how the confidence of the team gets established when LeBron James gets off to a start like this. Now here's Lopez. The wide open look here for Holiday. And the Bulls another three. Yeah, he's had bad first quarters before and has dug himself out. Here's another one tonight. Smith dishes to Love. Screen by Smith. Love the pass to LeBron. And the dunk by LeBron. Wow, LeBron on the roll. This time rocks it. Chicago's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Lopez kicks to Zipser. Outside Holiday. And Holiday throws it down. And guys, this game won't be close for long if they keep giving up dunks like that. No, it won't, G.A. You're right. A glaring error defensively and letting him get all the way to the basket that time. Well, we talk about the D. Let's credit the offense. He attacked right there from the moment he saw the opening, not letting the defense react. Chicago's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Grant the pass to Felicio. Grant kicks to Lopez. A beautiful reverse layup. Ten points for him. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Now here's James. 17 points in the game. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. James has got 19 points. LeBron James has developed that outside shot effective from that area on the floor. Here's Felicio banked in off the glass. And the Bulls lead by four. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. 
that is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Green. And Chicago also making a switch. Quincy Pondexter, he's checked in for Paul Zipser. The Bulls leading by four. Now Grant, he's got eight. In the corner, it's Felicia. Six on the shot clock. From the stripe. And it's off the back rim, no good. That's one he knows he should have drained. James dishes to Smith. Thompson, a screen on Grant. It's a pick by Love. Smith kicks to Love. Back to Smith. Over Grant. Smith, no good. Oh, Chicago has gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Grant the pass to Felicio. There's the feet to Pondexter. Lopez a screen. Shoots from the baseline, and he didn't get quite enough under that one. Left side Crowder. Good, and the assist goes to James. LeBron's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Chicago leading. Grant kicks to Felicio. No good from Grant. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Up again. Felicio with a rebound. Chicago's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Three second difference between shot clock and game. Dishes it to Pondexter. Back to Grant. Over Smith. They get it again. Felicio. Good D by Thompson. And their defense timed that out perfectly. Love the aggressiveness. And then they change the shot's direction. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of basketball. Bulls lead by two. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Here with Coach Fred Hoiberg. Coach, your team set the tone defensively in that first half. What stood out to you most at that end of the floor? Just overall activity. We had uh, active hands. We got uh, a lot of deflections. That led to some run out uh, easy baskets for us. Coach, we'll see if they still have that energy in the second half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, folks. Ernie Johnson here alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It was a closely contested first quarter for Chicago. They saw their lead grow to a high water mark of five in the period. The second quarter was dead even in terms of their scoring output from both teams, and they still find themselves in a good position at the half. And Kenny, what did you think about what you saw from Chicago? Well, they've been rewarded for dumping the ball inside, keeping the defense honest. You have to mix it up. A little bit outside, a little bit inside. Now that separates teams. Shaq, how do you think Cleveland played? Well, they had a strong perimeter game. See, Ernie, when this team executes from long range, those weapons spread out of defense. Coming out of the second half, if those shooters are hot, they got a great chance to take control of this game. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And it's been a back and forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. third quarter starting here now. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. And let's see what the defense counters with to try and control him here in the second half. Well, he has been dominant as, as we expected coming into this one. Skilled and relentless. The third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. Still 
Cleveland's gotten two-thirds of their three-pointers to fall tonight. They're six of nine overall. Tipping off the second half, here's Fred Hoiberg's five. Arkin and Lopez are together down low. Then there's Grant, and it's Holiday in a shooting guard. J.R. Smith is a straight gunner. He's just a guy who wants to shoot every time he touches the ball. And J.R. Smith, one of the more unabashed gunners, Brent, in the NBA. I always say this about J.R. Smith, Kevin. Uh -huh. When in doubt, shoot. Stay in doubt all the time. And J.R. <laughs> Smith has played his career in doubt. No good on the free throw. Brent, when you were playing in Seattle, those were the best assist years statistically of your career. What led you to become such a catalyst for that offense? Well, it was interesting just as I finally got an opportunity to start to play with the basketball as a two guard a little bit more in Seattle, trying to play a little bit more up tempo. And again, I'll mention opportunities because of Gary Payton getting double teamed. It opened up situations for me, Kevin, where I could be a bit more creative as the off guard. And you love that, didn't you? Uh, I love playing that way. I, I wish I had more years of doing that, kind of the run and gun style that, that Phoenix employed for most of the mid 2000s with that seven seconds or less. I could have been agreeable with that. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. Holiday's got 14 points for the game. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Smith dishes to Crowder. He's looking for James and finds him. The rebound by Zipser. Holiday against Smith, and Holiday kicks to Zipser. And it's Grant in the corner. Another three for Chicago. And no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. Now here's LeBron, screened by Smith. Outside Crowder. He kicks it to LeBron. Four on the clock. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. And the shot is good. The Chicago lead has been cut down to just three in the basket from Crowder. And how does he get that one to go? No idea. There's the pick. To the paint. It's deflected. Stolen by Thompson. James, the pass to Smith. The rebound by Grant. Grant's got his third rebound on the night. Pass to Zips. Back to Grant. Lopez a screen inside. Here's Holiday. Slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's LeBron. James. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Lopez has got his fifth rebound in this one. Well, if they had an edge at halftime, they might have lost it beginning this half one of five. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. LeBron outside, and that one is good. You see LeBron just shrug off that contact there. It's like nothing even hit him. Well, LeBron James recently cemented his legacy by bringing that coveted title to Cleveland. He knew it would be this crowning achievement for him, especially growing up just outside the city in Akron, but bigger than his rings in Miami because of what he's meant to that city and now to that franchise. Free throw, no good for LeBron. And Brent, you remember all the anger about LeBron's infamous decision to leave for Miami. It all melted away in 2016. 
Well, I think, Kevin, that turmoil, whatever the backstory was for a lot of people out there about how LeBron James ended up getting himself back to Cleveland, added to the storybook quality of bringing a championship back to the city of Cleveland. Of course, coming back from 3-1 doesn't hurt the legacy all that much either, especially against the Warrior team who had set the regular season win total at 73. One-on-one -on -one here. No block shot and too long on the shot. It's just been an off night for him. That doesn't happen all that often, but the thing that you do at this point is not to push it, not to rush it. Let it come back to you. Here's Felder. Releases from 15, and the call will be against Robin Lopez. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And that's number four. Definitely something to keep track of as we move forward. A different look now for Cleveland. Iman Shumpert has checked in for Crowder. And Dwayne Wade subbed in for Smith. Denzel Valentine, he's checked in for the Bulls. LeBron dishes to Wade. On the wing, Shumpert. He has six. LeBron outside. Just five to shoot. Elbow shot. And he gets the jumper to drop. LeBron's got 23. Now, most of the time, there's just no defense for LeBron James. Just too gifted offensively. Valentine kicks to Lopez. Addition out to Valentine. Lopez a screen. Now, here's Valentine. D right on him. And a really smart defender there. He just reads the play, wastes no time trying to blow it up. And what I like best is that he does it completely under control. Really gives the shooter nowhere to turn to. Shumpert, no good. No excuse for him not drilling that one there. The defense was nowhere to be found. Maybe could have taken a little more time. Here's Felder. Pass to Lopez. Kicks it to Valentine. Arkanen sets the pick for Valentine. Lopez, a screen on Thompson. Here's Valentine, and so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. That one on Love. Bulls shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Gentlemen, two shots. Blue shots. That free throw, no good. And the Cavs trade for Isaiah Thomas reunites two former teammates. He and Kevin Love actually played a little AAU ball together, both of them growing up in the Pacific Northwest. Cavaliers making a switch here. Green's checked in. And Chicago also making a switch. Waba's checked in. And he ends up missing both free throws. And back in high school, Isaiah Thomas used to ride the train down to Portland and stay the weekend at the Love's family house. For those two teaming up once again at this level, that's pretty surreal. The Cavaliers have made seven of their last 12 attempts at the line. Shooting one. Free throw good, LeBron. I think about LeBron James, and it's not about the job. It's how you do the job. And he's been a professional every season that he's been in the association. And again, Chicago, no good. Cleveland's gone 7 of 10, shooting from three-point land tonight. Excellent numbers from outside. The screen from Thompson. Shumper gets a wide-open look. And the three off target. 
Man, that's a clean shot, too. You got to sink those. He must be disappointed that he blew that chance. Here's Felder. Out of the miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. James outside. They grab their own miss. Basket counts. Thompson's got four points this quarter. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's the pass to Valentine. Feeds it to Markinen. Can't hit that one. Great D that time from James. He dishes it to Green. And he's fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. He's had five chances at the line. Gone four for five. And last season, 86% from the line so he's always had that calm presence at the line no matter the situation Kyle Korver he's checked in for Amon Shumpert the free throw drops for Jeff Green and the former Hoya Green, a, a rangy forward who can both score and defend from all areas of the floor. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position. They set the screen. Felder kicks to Markinen. Right wing. It's stolen by Corver. Bobbed up there for Green. Stolen by Markinen. And stolen by LeBron. Launches a three. Green, no luck. And here is Valentine. He's got nine. Lopez, a screen on Corver. Valentine passes to Lopez. The timely screen gave him a step, and he took it all the way. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Thompson sets the pick for LeBron. Corver with it. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Five to shoot. James kicks to Green. On deep. Again, the miss by Green. Bulls trail by five. Valentine with it. Now defended by Corver. Valentine dishes to Lopez. Here's Felder. Traps in the tray. Felder's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. You know, at least get a hand up. It's not too much to ask from a coaching staff. Just not intimidating defense at all on that possession. Fouled in the act of shooting. A three-point play chance coming up. Yeah, he's a heady player. He knows how to get himself going and giving his team a real advantage right now on the offensive end. Robin Lopez, a solid big man who can clean up the glass and Greg get you some points on the other end. And Robin Lopez might not have great range now, but, you know, that could change. He says he's uh, working on a three-point shot, and his logic is that since his twin brother Brooke can make threes, it can't be that hard. <laughs> Maybe. Here's Felder. To the paint. Puts it up from 12, and Thompson sends it back. Well, Thompson lives in the paint, and defensively, occasionally, you're going to get to shots like that. From deep LeBron, Chicago grabs the miss. Well, the D looks like they're laying off just a little bit. He made one three in the first half. 
but they're still daring him to shoot, and he can't make him pay for it. That's like milk on a hot day, just, just a bad decision. Absolutely no reason for him to be taking those shots. Corver passes to Wade. Unloads from 13. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. And the Cavaliers lead by seven. And the mid-range jump shot is something Dwayne Wade has really perfected throughout his career. Passes to Pondexter. They set the pick. It's stolen by Green. And here we go. Fast break. Corver's got it. Stripped away. Here's Felder. He feeds it to Pondexter. In the corner, it's Felicio. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Out to the right wing. Four on the shot clock. Puts one up from 19. Count that one, and the Cleveland lead has been cut down now to just five on the bucket from Felder. And here are the Cavaliers. They're on a 19-7 run. The screen from Thompson. High arcing shot. Felicio with a rebound. Felicio's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Pondexter, no good. Yeah, and something we always talk about, though, shot selection. Well, being aggressive is one thing, but aggression with control is another, and you need both elements working together. Now here's LeBron. He's got 29 points. And there's the feed to Green. And it's off from three-point range. Bulls trail by five. 119 left in the third. Here's Felder. Five points in the game. Pondexter, no good. Trying to shoot his way out of this slob, but thus far, not working. Yeah, I hope it hasn't gone to his head. He may be trying too hard at this point. Textbook, nice pass, great catch. Even better finish. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. And yeah, the defense has not provided any threat to stop him out there, so it should come to no surprise that he continues to attack the basket. Jay Crowder's checked in for Cleveland. Smith comes in for Dwayne Wade. Chicago also making some changes. Lopez, he's checked in for Felicio. Justin Holliday comes in for David Mwaba. And it's Jaron Grant in for Felder. Now here's James. Dishes it to Corver. Jacks up a three. Sinks the triple. And now a 10-point Cleveland lead. You gotta love how Corver's outside shot keeps looking better and better with each passing game. And Holliday kicks to Grant. 26 seconds left here in the third quarter. Pass to Lopez. And he overdid it there. Too much force it looked like on the foul, and he's called for the flagrant. And, and Kevin, I got to tell you, he's probably fortunate to just get a flagrant one there. I mean, so much contact. The officials easily could have gone even harder on it. Greg, I agree. Take he better be on his best Two behavior shots. from now on. One more flagrant of any variety, and he's out of here. And the first one at the line is good. That one is no good. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Love's checked in. Now Grant. He's got 11. Lopez, a screen on James. Here's Grant. He kicks it to Lopez. And the rejection by Love. Encouraging signs when Kevin Love is that intense on the defensive end. Swats that one away. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Cleveland Cavaliers. He has been a determined scorer today. 29 points altogether for him. And I think there's more where that came from. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break.
Moments ago from the huddle, let's listen in on head coach Fred Hoiberg. All right, we've got to be strong with the ball now, okay? They're in there slapping, digging anytime we get that thing in the paint. Yeah, Fred Hoiberg looking to fight fire with fire, I guess, cautioning his guys about being uh, tougher and together on defense and offense. Yeah, I mean, w when the other team is scratching and clawing, doing what it can to disrupt your rhythm, you need to try to match that energy on the other side. Hello, and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play getting started. LeBron James is out there with Kyle Korver. Then there's Kevin Love. Then it's Jay Crowder, and it's Smith in at the three slot. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Now, here's Grant. Just five to shoot. Doesn't go for him. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Screen by Smith. LeBron kicks to Love. Taken away by Holiday. Here's Grant. Banked in off the glass. Defensively, you cause the miss, but then you have to corral it. Well, that's the second part of the equation there. Block out, be aggressive, and control the glass. Now here's Love. Goes up on the wing. Kept alive. James goes back up. And the officials call a traveling violation. In the second half, they haven't taken care of the basketball. Simply put, more turnovers now that could hurt them later. Paul Zipser, he's checked in for Quincy Pondexter. Bulls trail by nine. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Markkanen sets the pick for Grant. There's the dish to Markkanen. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Grant with the ball. Picked up by Love. Here's Lopez. Whistle on the play, bucket's good, he'll go to the line. This is where you gotta put a body on the guy. His will is incredible down on the interior, fighting and clawing for every rebound. Mind the lanes, mind the lanes. One shot. Now here is Smith. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. It's a pick by Love. LeBron is doubled. Lets it go with a three. And it's Smith missing. And they still need to step up just a little bit. They have the lead, but he needs to find himself out there. Grant dishes to Holiday. There's a screen. Double team on Holiday. Crowder with the steal. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Smith outside. Chicago grabs the miss. Lopez has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Zipser kicks to Lopez. LeBron against Grant. Here's Markinen. Love grabs the board. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Corver kicks to LeBron. To end the drought. And Kevin Love, the bucket with the assist by LeBron. Precision shooting off of the pass. Love takes no time letting that one go. Markinen sets the pick for Holiday. To the inside. Eight feet away. Good on that shot. And with that, the Cavalier lead is cut to just seven on the basket from Lopez. Smith outside, pass to James. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Poked away. And here's Smith. 
James right side. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. 32 points for LeBron. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And Kyle Korver with the return to form, shooting the ball well last season, almost 50% from three-point range once he was traded from Atlanta to Cleveland. Uh, I don't think Kyle had to do as much work in Cleveland, certainly, with Kyrie Irving and LeBron James creating havoc. He could stand, have his feet set, and we know he's one of the NBA's career leaders in three-point percentage. That makes those shots a lot easier. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Hey, guys. Well, Fred Hoiberg was talking to his team during the timeout. He told them that they're getting it done in the paint. He said they can't guard us inside, guys. Keep taking it to them. Pound it down low. Let's see if they keep it up, Kevin. Now here's Crowder. Love with the screen on Grant. Sweet little floater. Grant's got four points this quarter. And a terrific use of the floater, unguardable really, because you can't do anything defensively to stop it. Here's the screen. Screen by Smith. James kicks to Smith. And the pass to Crowder. Feeds it to James. And the layup is good. James has got 15 points in just the second half. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Lopez, a screen on Smith. Holiday goes in. The shot, no good. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. In love with the second chance points. And the Cavaliers lead by 12. You gotta work a little bit harder to keep Love off the glass, and if you don't box him out, he can do some serious damage down there. Grant the pass to Lopez. He makes his ninth shot of the game. He has only missed four. And his teammates have to step up just a little bit more. He's been lights out. Needs a bit more support. Thompson in the corner. Love outside. Smith kicks to Love. Here's Zipser. To the middle. Here's Lopez, and that basket to his impressive total. Brings him to 10 for 14. Yeah, one of the few bright spots for his team. I mean, he's had a very efficient offensive performance. No doubt without these contributions, they'd be in a much deeper hole in this one, no question. And not going to let him get that easy dunk. Defense stopping the easy two, but a foul called, and a trip to the free throw line instead. Back in 2008, Kevin Love was drafted with the fifth pick by Memphis and then traded to Minnesota, and he became the Timberwolves' star player in a hurry. But they couldn't surround him with the kind of talent necessary to make it out of the lottery in the Western Conference. That free throw good from Kevin Love. And despite his production, Love's impact was questioned in Minnesota, even at times, Brent, by the Wolves' front office. Well, the idea in Minnesota is they didn't want to commit to the full five-year max and had Ricky Rubio at the time as the franchise player. And even the whispers after the trade of Kevin Love, you heard a lot of things that might have been unflattering, most of which I don't think were necessarily true. In the end, the trade worked out for both teams. Wiggins got to Minnesota, the Cavs got a star in Kevin Love, and then ended up with a title. Now, here's Markinen. From deep. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. LeBron's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Outer dishes to Thompson. The screen from Thompson. Smith kicks to Love. A three ball. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. And 12 points for Kevin Love. Just don't touch him right now, okay? You're going to burn yourself. The guy is on fire. Kicks it to Markinen. Back to Grant. Markinen sets the pick for Grant. Here's Zipser. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Cleveland leading by 13. James outside. He dishes it to Love. Stolen by Markinen. 
Here we go, all alone. Here's Zipser. Finish off the break. And you got to like the vision for marking it. I mean, a big man who knows how to find the open man. There's the pick. LeBron is doubled. Here's Crowder. Some solid defense from Grant. Bulls trail by 11. Down low. And Markinen with the basket on the assist by Grant. And that's now six points for Lowry Markinen. James kicks to Crowder. That one doesn't go. Good D by Lopez. Chicago's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Got a piece of it. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Cleveland on defense. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Marketing absorbing the contact. He's really good at staying with his shot through that contact. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. That free throw good from Markinen. And Markinen is a perfect candidate for that stretch four. Outstanding at pulling the trigger from deep and not afraid to go inside and bang with the other bigs. Love outside. Passes it to James. Kicks it out to Love. Shot clock at five. Balls knocked loose. Stolen by Holiday. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Holiday is running. Count it, and the Cavalier lead has been cut down to just four points in the bucket from Grant. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Thompson in the post. Lopez is there. No good again that time. They get that one, but guys, on the night, that's been the problem, securing the ball. Grant the pass to Lopez. Back to Grant, and stolen by James. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Lowry Markkinen. A great job by LeBron in that instance at getting some contact and then going straight into the foul. throw good James both shots good from the strike and done a much better job from the line this had they've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game Grant with the ball. Outside Holiday. They set the pick. Launches a three. Offensive rebound. Lopez. And the rejection by James. To the inside. Here's Thompson. Good. And the assist goes to James. James has got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Thompson shoots such a high percentage on the inside. Most of his shots coming around the rim. Now, here's Grant. Outside Holiday. Again, Holiday missing. 
Yeah, not a fan of that one, guys. If he wants to help his team cut into this deficit, he should not be attempting those kind of shots. And the shot's good from Crowder. And you can see the play calling this half. Another one from distance. Yeah, no question. It looks like they've rented out room along the perimeter in this ball game, And they're likely to keep doing this until the defense makes an adjustment. And here is Grant after the three-pointer from Jay Crowder. Here's Holiday, and the Bulls with another miss. It's really a tale of two quarters. Shot it so well in the last, but this one can't get anything to fall. Crowder kicks to Love. 105 left here in the fourth quarter. He gets that one. And there's no doubt about this one. Playing with a lot of confidence tonight. It's a statement victory for the Cavaliers. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for LeBron. Uh, he, he was in the zone. Uh, he's just a man on a mission, and that helped him notch that triple-double. Now here is Smith. The kick out to Crowder. Four on the clock. Holiday with the block. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Inside, here's Zipser. And that one's drained from the low block. 19 seconds left in the fourth. Now Crowder. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Hey, LeBron, congrats on the win. What do you think made the difference tonight? Uh, defense. We made our mark defensively. We understand that for the long term, we have to defend at a high level. We've been doing that. It does start at that end, LeBron. Congrats again. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. See you later.